Hello everyone. My name is Shalini Ramesh. I'm from Carnegie Mellon University, pursuing my PhD in Building Performance and Diagnostics. Today, I will be talking about my summer internship experience here at Autodesk. I worked as an intern developer consultant with Cloud APIs. My manager was Mikako Harada. My project goal was to write integration samples using Autodesk Cloud Product APIs. My first objective was to learn Autodesk Cloud Product APIs, such as InfraWorks 360, Large Model Viewer, Green Building Studio, BIM 360, Glue, and Revit. The next was to write integration samples where I used Green Building Studio, BIM 360, Glue, and Revit. And the third was to evangelize the usage of APIs through the AEC blog and events such as MassHack and meetups in Manchester, New Hampshire. For this presentation, I will focus on the integration sample I developed. The sample is called Parametric Building Cost and Energy Analysis for Beginners. Here, the architectural model is created using Revit. The energy analysis is performed using Green Building Studio and the model can be viewed using BIM 360 Glue Viewer. The purpose of the application is to provide a getting started sample for GBS and Glue API to demonstrate parametric building cost energy comparison in different weather locations in the US. It also serves as a tool for building material selection, such as window glazing and HVAC systems. For this presentation, I will demonstrate what is the best glazing option for a commercial building located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have used two building parameters for this comparison. One is glazing using single, double, and triple glazing. And the second is mechanical systems, where it shows how many times the indoor air is changed. This is a screenshot of how the application looks. Now, let's look at a quick demo of how the application works. You can run the application either as a standalone program or as a Revit add-on. This is how the window looks after the energy simulation is completed. The model viewer part is using BIM 360 Glue Viewer as highlighted. In this demo, I am comparing three weather locations, namely California with moderate climate, Arizona with hot and dry, and Pennsylvania with hot and cold climates. From the simulation results, we can see that the cost is the highest in Arizona. This is due to the cooling or electric cost. California has the least energy cost due to its moderate climate. Now, if we look at the energy consumption, the most significant is Pennsylvania with highest fuel consumption. This is because Pennsylvania requires heating during the winter months. Now let's compare window glazing for a building in Pennsylvania. From this chart, you can see that there is not much difference in the electric, but there is a significant increase in fuel or heating consumption using the triple and single glazing. This is due to the lack of sun's heat allowed into the building, which directly increases the heating consumption. Therefore, from here, you can say that double glazing is the best option for this building in Pennsylvania. Similarly, comparing air changes per hour, we see that the energy consumption with 3.5 air change has high fuel consumption due to large heating of the cold air during winter, whereas 0.1 air change per hour, which is lower number of air changes per hour, has minimal fuel increase. Therefore, this application helps designers assess good design strategies with respect to cost and energy consumption to design a sustainable building. Talking about my project challenges during my internship, the first challenge was limiting my ideas for sample design, since not all product features are currently exposed through APIs. 
For example, in GBS, the access to alternate run results was missing. Second, my own programming experience. This is my first time I went heads down programming for two months. In terms of internship takeaways, if you are stuck on a problem for more than half a day, ask. It was also a good opportunity to learn new software technologies before they are released, such as the Large Model Viewer and InfraWorks 360. The internship also helped me broaden my knowledge perspective by attending networking events such as hackathons and meetups. And lastly, if I was a manager for a day here at Autodesk, I would organize more fun events at the East Coast location in order to match the employee experience in California.